that I need to to see the preview I need to build and refresh it so it will render uh, the things which uh, we have uh, may applied in it okay so our preview have been uh, rendered so the next is we need to we have shown the text here so the next is in actually is it according to the design which we are seeing international text international text its size is 18 and font weight is medium okay so the next is we need to put some uh, margin on top and bottom of this text for that I will use the Okay, and the next is uh, show these uh, images here. So for that, as you can see here, these images are showing in horizontal order. So for that, going persons. First, I will show these uh, images here. So, first of all, I will export these images from here. okay so for that I will I can uh, uh, achieve this using constraint layer but I don't want to make it too much complex so for that I will use a box in here so its size is 24 so image and uh, build and refresh is as we have added some images in the resources file so our first image is, is showing here so let's put the second image 
it's our first image which should be at the top second image so our set now our second image is showing on the top but we want to show our first image and on the top and the second image should be uh, below that uh, should be overlap the, the second image first image should be overlap the second image so for that i will uh, in the box uh, all the images are overlapping the uh, previous elements like the first image and uh, when the second image will be drawn then it will overlap the first image so for that i will move this at the top of that code so now our first second image will be in the previous side and the image one should be on the top side just like this so now let's put some uh, margin to the second image on from the left side for setting margin we will use the padding property in here i will set the modifier fill next width so this box will be occupy the whole space horizontally but our second image is not showing here what's the issue here let's make it 20 dp actually i need to move this of top of this size so it now it will be considered as margin to this image okay now it's showing so let's decrease it to 15 okay yeah so this is perfect so let's copy this from here and put it here this would be our image 3 and the uh, margin would be multiple of that so i will multiply it with two okay this is it so the next is we need to show this text in here so for that i will wrap this actually i would not need to need that and uh, now i wrap this into a row And here I will put the text in here. Plus 20. Going and what is the font properties of this text? It's medium and 12. Font family. and color is blue let's see if we have that color in our color file we don't have it so let's make a new color blue one and paste in here and uh, hit build and refresh and 
put some padding on start of that so uh, actually margin so for that I will use spacer in here okay so and the next thing is we need to make these components vertically so for that I will go to the draw and vertical alignment to alignment center vertically okay and the next is we need to show this thing here so first I will export this image and now this time I will use SVG so the it's uh, smaller in size and uh, can be shown perfectly to any screen size and go to text this is the file that we have downloaded here so I will name it as location marker and uh, in android studio we will right click on it new and vector asset local file and select that file from here location marker and finish now here I will uh, add a spacer below that row and uh, this is showing in a row icon and text so I will use a row here first one is this icon so I will use the icon and uh, the size of this is 16 16 dp and uh, the color of this is this one I don't have that color in our color file so it looks like gray so I will name it as gray 4 5 gray 5 and uh, this text 36 green I will first type this text in here 36 girl street and there is spacing between this icon so I will put a spacer here twelve dp and text and the properties of this text are its thirteen and font is book font family and color is
and this one this color is not exist in our file so I will name it as gray 6 and uh, gray 6 in here what's the thing we are doing wrong size font family and uh, now build and refresh so our uh, text is showing here uh, icon is not showing as expected because it's uh, should be should show the Uh, sh should be look like this but it's not showing uh, at that and also there are some uh, margin on top and bottom of that so for margin first I will use padding vertical 12 dp and uh, also make the vertical alignment to central vertical and replace it with image okay so now it's showing uh, according to our design the icon and the text but there is too much spacing between these uh, logo and text so I will make it 8 dp and uh, also there are some of the variations of the color between our design and uh, our Figma design and our actual design so for that I will pick this color using a color picker so I will zoom in and pick this color using color picker so as I Okay, maybe this time it will work. Ah, huh, yes. No, uh, it's, not, it's not copying the text here, so I will type it manually B8 B7 C7. Okay, go. copy this and check if this exists in our color file. It's not exist, so it's pretty much look like gray so I will use gray 7 paste it here and uh, use the color in here gray 7 and same for this one okay so this is according to our design but uh, this is according to our no, actually in this color is different from this logo so I will pick this color as well and this one it is 959 3A4 we don't have it so let's create a new variable gray 8 and paste it here gray 8 
and uh, actually uh, for gray 8 would be only for this one so gray 8 and this color is not uh, showing uh, as expected so I will remove the color from here and go to this file and here I will paste the color 7 color 7 is not expecting the here yeah, it's showing according to our design which we are expecting here so let's build and refresh okay so things are showing as expected so let's decrease this spacing here I will make it 6 and uh, the next thing which is left is uh, we need to uh, put some uh, padding between these components uh, to the uh, between the border of this whole container and also make the corner rounded and put the shade on it so let's put padding and corner first so this is the parent container and uh, put the padding 12 dp and make the corner rounded and uh, put some shadow so for that maybe I need to wrap this into any of the other containers so after that it will show the elevation property no actually we need to use the shadow property to put the elevation I will put the elevation at dp and uh, shape of the uh, shadow would be same as the column and actually uh, we don't need uh, that parent column which we have uh, added which is unnecessary here so let's go back and uh, yeah corner are rounded and uh, the shadow have been applied let's increase the size it to 18 corner radius shape to 18 actually it's not uh, which we are expecting in here so let's comment this out and take this shadow property on top of that modifier methods okay so our shadow is showing but um, no we are not able to see it because our upcoming event card is uh, showing in the in here so I here I will use surface one 
white and put it in here okay and uh, let's put a margin okay there it is so now we are able to see our shadow property around this uh, uh, card here so few things just need to do like uh, we need to increase this padding little bit more let's make it sixteen and yeah this is it so this is how you can uh, use constraint layer actually we only use constraint, constraint layout for this image only image and these components only uh, but the whole purpose of this lecture is to show the demonstration of how we can use constraint layout to build any kind of complex layout so this is it for today's lecture so see you next time bye